everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making two cards with Pink and Main's Sunkissed stamp set. And the Sunkissed stamp set is a 4x6 stamp set and it has these two sunglasses, different styles, and they actually have scenes inside of the lenses. So you can see this first one here is a palm tree with an ocean, and then the second one is a lighthouse with some rocks also with the ocean. And then there are also some sentiments, sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat, life is better at the beach, hello sunshine, you're wonderful, that's for sure, sending sunshine, and sun-kissed greetings. There are also matching dyes for the sunglasses as well. So I'm starting out by coloring up the sunglasses. I went ahead and stamped them both onto some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. That's what I use when I color with alcohol markers. And I'm just gonna color up with my Copic markers. I will have all of the colors that I use listed in my blog, also down in the description box in case you're interested in duplicating any of these colors. So for the greens, I used two on the palm tree. I have G03 as my light and G07 as the dark. For the ocean, I have B16 as the light and B18 as the dark. I just traced over those shadow lines in the ocean with my dark. There's also a little sailboat there in that scene off to the back underneath that sun. I just colored it up with one marker, which is the E33. The sun I colored up with one marker, which is Y15. And then the palm tree bark, I colored with E57 as the light and E59 as the dark. And with that palm tree bark, I just traced over those lines in that bark with the darkest E59. So for the frame, I'm using some pinks. I have RV06 for the dark and RV04 for the light. And then those accent pieces on both sides of the frame, I just color with my black, which is the 100 marker. So moving on to the second pair of sunglasses, this is the lighthouse and I'm coloring up some of the rocks and I'm using some browns. So I have the E49 as the dark and then I'll be using E47 as the mid tone and then E44 as the light. For the water, it's the same as the previous pair of sunglasses. So B18 for the dark and B16 for the light. So just trace over those lines in the water with your dark and then just color over top of that with your lighter shade. So for the lighthouse, I have the YR24 as the dark, YR21 as the light and that is the orange color in the lighthouse and then for the red color I have R24 as the dark and R22 as the light. For the clouds I didn't want to keep them white so I put in some light gray tones. I have C02 as the dark and then just fill that in with C0. The sun is the same color as the previous pair of sunglasses that I colored which is the Y15 and then coloring up the sky I have B01 and as I was coloring the sky I accidentally went over the cloud with that blue color so I'm just coming in here with my colorless blender to try to push some of that color away and then just basically went over it again with the gray color doesn't look too bad. Anyway, so here for the frame, I'm coloring with C9, which is a very, very dark gray, almost black. And I'm also gonna come in with my C7 marker to finish up the coloring. So for my first card, I'm taking the Catch a Wave embossing folder from Pink and Main, and I put a piece of teal colored cardstock in it and ran that through my die cutting machine, and it gives me this fun, kind of like a wave pattern. There's some circular swirls on there, it just kind of looks like a wave. So next I'm taking my Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide ink and just rubbing some of that ink on top of the raised embossed background and that just brings some of that background out just makes it stand out from the rest of the cardstock. Next I used a border die and this border die was from Trinity Stamps. It's the scenic border dies and I die cut a piece of the pattern paper. This pattern paper is the vitamin C collection from Pink and Main. Anyway I die cut two borders. These are going to be used as sand on my scene and I just ink them up with some light brown ink just to give them some dimension. I also off screen colored up some of the pineapples from Pink and Main's Sweet Friend stamp set. And I'm not showing the coloring because I've already showed the coloring in another video on how I color these pineapples. I will link that down below. 
and I previously made three cards using that pineapple set. So I figured I'd bring in these pineapples with this set. I thought it would look cute to add them to this cute little scene. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sand to the embossed background. I have two layers, so one layer is going to go slightly higher than the other one. And by the way, that piece of embossed cardstock, it measures 5 and an eighth by 3 and 7 eighths. So here I'm adding glue to the other sand border and adding that to the card. I didn't put glue all the way up at the top because I'm going to tuck the pineapple and part of the sunglasses into that sand. So I wanted to make sure that I had some room there to be able to tuck it in. So here I'm just cutting off the excess. You can see how that inked up edge on that sand, it really adds some nice dimension to that card. I am going to layer this on a piece of orange cardstock and that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I think that orange color brings out the orange in the lighthouse as well as in the pineapple. So I'm going to go ahead and layer up my scene. I'm going to tuck one of the pineapples into the sand. One is not going to be tucked into the sand and then I'm going to have the sunglasses off to the right with one lens tucked in and one out. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of those to my scene. I stamped out the sentiment with just some black ink onto some white cardstock and just trimmed it down with my scissors and I'm adding it there to the top of the card. And then I'll add that to an A2 size card base. The sentiment says, you're wonderful, that's for sure, and sure is S-H-O-R-E. <laughs> I do add some of the vitamin C epoxy dots from Pink and Main and that completes card one. For my next card, I'm making a mini slimline sized card. I am also bringing in the Sunny Hello die set from Pink and Main. I just love this die set. I've actually made several cards with this die set. I will also link those videos down below, but basically it includes this sun, and there's actually a pair of flip-flops that go inside of the sun, but I'm not using the flip-flops. Instead, I just die cut a circle to put inside of those sun rays and that circle is a two and seven eighth inch circle. So I die cut the actual rays out of a slightly darker color cardstock, and then the circle out of a lighter color. And I did put some dark yellow ink around the edges just to add some more dimension to that sun. Um, that Sunny Hello die, and in, in including, including the sun, it includes the word Sunny Hello, which you see there on the left side of the screen. And the Sunny Hello die, the actual sun with the flip-flops, it's actually cut off of the screen. You can slightly see it there on the right side. But again, I'll link those videos if you want to see that set more up close. So for this card, I'm also using the vitamin C paper pad from Pink and Main. I have the pattern paper that measures three and a quarter by five and three quarters. Layered that onto some pink cardstock that measures three and three eighths by five and seven eighths. Put that sun there at the top of the middle of that panel and then put the rays directly around that. I did die cut the Sunny Hello die out of the same pink cardstock that I used underneath the pattern paper and then I'm just going to add my sunglasses to the top of the sun. I have a mini slimline card base that measures three and a half by six and to get your mini slimline card base just take a piece of cardstock, cut it to seven by six, score it at three and a half inches on the seven inch side. I do add some of the vitamin C epoxy dots and that will complete this card. If you liked any of these products, I will have links down in my description box below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.